Don't quantum entangled electrons happen instantly over space? No. This is important, and this is something that everybody who thinks that quantum mechanics is going to somehow save us from the boundary of the speed of light needs to think about. Quantum entanglement does not transmit any information. Period. End of story. Quantum entanglement means that we can figure out information, but nothing is transmitted. If you had a pair of quantumly entangled electrons, and one was right here on Earth, and another one somehow was light years away, they were both in a box, so you couldn't tell anything was happening to them. Then we opened the box here on Earth and we saw that the electron here on Earth was spin up. We would know that the electron light years away is spin down. But it's not like that electron just suddenly becomes spin down and a detector so many light years away can detect that. Like we could send a message. No, light years away, it's still an electron in a box. And nothing is happening to that electron in the box. If they were to open the box, then they would see that that electron was spin down because ours was spin up. But nothing is happening to the electron in the box. In fact, nothing has to happen to the electron in the box to keep them entangled. As soon as something happens to one of them, they are no longer entangled with each other. So there is no way to send information via quantum entanglement faster than light. It just does not work. You might be like, oh, well, what if there was like a message or a timer or something that just told us when to open the boxes? Well, that message or timer has to be transmitted not via quantum entanglement. That's limited by the speed of light still. So again, we can figure out information by deduction with quantum entanglement. When two particles are entangled, we could figure out properties of one via properties of the other, but we can't actually send information via quantum entanglement. We can't make something happen to one particle that's light years away by doing something to our particle that's here. Again, doing anything to either particle breaks the entanglement. For particles to be entangled, they essentially have to not interact with anything else.